Hi, I'm Mark the Vet. I'm at DFS Crafts 2010 and with me on the sofa is... Debbie Matthews. And where are you from, Debbie? I'm from Vets Get Scanning. Vets Get Scanning. So, what are you scanning for? What we want vets to do, we want them to routinely scan dogs that come into their practices. At the moment, they don't. This means that if you have a dog that's microchipped, if he gets stolen, sold on to a new owner, that new owner goes into a vet's practice, vet practice doesn't scan the new dog, and you don't get your dog back. And we actually believe that's something that should be being done. Okay, tell us about the whole microchipping process. What does it actually involve? Well, when you go to the vets, they'll sell you the microchip as a system that will help you if your dog gets lost or stolen, you will get your dog back because there is an amazing system out there where everybody's scanning. In reality, and you only find this out when your dog has been lost or stolen, it's not working because the vets don't scan dogs into their practices. The highway agencies aren't scanning deceased dogs on the sides of the roads. The, not all the rescues are scanning before they rehome. And also the city pounds, who only hold dogs for seven days before they put them to sleep, aren't all scanning. So actually, a lot of dogs are disappearing out there, and it's because people aren't scanning. So your ideal world will be, um, a, well not ideal, but a stolen dog with a, someone else's chip comes into the vets, the vet scans, and then what's the process after that? The vets hide behind the data protection issue, and actually that isn't an issue, because if they think there's a problem with a dog, or a chip number comes up and the people aren't sure what's going on, they don't have to get involved in it at all. All the vet has to do is pass the information back to the data controller. It'll either be pet log or the other two or three databases that are out there. They will then deal with any issues involving a microchip. So actually the vet doesn't have to do very much apart from passing on the information. And is that is, is a gut reaction that something's wrong or should yeah, he do that know. all the time? I think that uh, vets shouldn't ask if they scan. I think when they're doing their first medical check, they just pick the scanner up and they scan the dog. Uh, no questions asked, they just do it. If the chip number comes up and people go, oh, what's that? Or did you know the dog was microchipped? Then you know you've got a problem and you just pass it all on, that he can just say to the people, we need to just pass this information on to the database. Yeah, I mean, I know I, I, I scan all dogs and cats because people, it's like a, an extra service you're offering that people don't expect, you're say, saying that, oh, it may be chipped, it may not be, and if it is, they, they're happy that the chip works, if it's not, then you can actually get microchipping on the back of it. Um, Debbie, just finally, what's your website so people can find out more about microchipping and, and exactly what you're, what you're doing? Um, our web uh, address is www.vetsgetscanning.co.uk and all our information on there is on there and also there are downloads for people. We also have a petition at the moment which is we're nearly up to 20,000 people so we're, we're getting there and uh, we just want everybody to know about this because it's just responsible pet owners at the moment are being let down. Brilliant. Debbie, thank you so much. Thank Cheers. You for your time. Pleasure.